Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya. Same as in Naya. And thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So then we'll be talking something very important. And it's about this uh, D1 outlet. You all know that some of them got drafted over okay, last week and all of that. I personally watched that. I watched it. And sincerely speaking, at a point, I did not read minutes into it because I saw so many of them. And I was like, wait, is it like a trend that almost majority of them got part colored girlfriend, right? Well, then I was like, why is it that black outlets, like most times you see them hanging with part colored women, doesn't mean that, I mean, my own people or our own women do not look good on them when they are doing great for themselves and the rest of it. I did not read many into that, but then I just let it go. Then I came back again to find out that it's also a trend. Why is it that they want to Why are they always going for part colored women and the rest of it? Now, the shocking part is the part that where I mean, black men also have to look at, they always look for a way to bl blame black women. That then or going outside to get pop colored women see i do not have problem with where people find love but like i always say i love it when my people come together to make things happen i also preach healthy love right but then why are black women always blame and code names for something that is not even worth it let's get into this video. why are all these black college athletes that are getting drafted having white women what's going on i am going to tell you as someone that is friends with a lot of D1 football players and D1 basketball players, I'm going to tell you because they have told me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I get into this, I want to make it clear I'm only into black women. I'm just telling you what they have told me. My man said, bro, how many white women have you seen do the Make This Down Challenge? And he said, excluding the ones that think they're two shades away from being Lotto. I said, probably only one. He said, okay. Y'all, five of my guys that play on Division I Power 5 football teams and they start, they were like, goody, you know the type of NIL deals we got. One of my men said, bro, I was messing with this black girl. She heard about the deal I got and started to request money, Apple Pays and Cash Apps, for her hair and nails. I said, oh shit. My other friends were saying, bro, I would try to take her out to Chipotle, Cava, this and this and that. She would get mad talking about why are we going to steakhouses, you're good for it. I said, oh shit. They were like, bro, the white women, they're down to go and get a cup of coffee, go, go and get some fucking ice cream. My friends were like, bro, the white women we're dating, they pay for a lot of our stuff. I said, what do you mean? They said, bro, they know that we're making some money. But while we're at practice or we're at camp, they got us our favorite cava bowl, double chicken, right? Waiting for them to come out of practice. My friends are telling me these girls are getting their group projects done, getting their essays done, online tests done, on time. I said, wait, what? I said, bro, what about maintenance? There's no way y'all are not paying for her hair, nails, bags, her lifestyle. He said, bro, first of all, my girl will get her own Starbucks and even get me one. But if I want to be nice, I'll get her something, you know, from Starbucks. And they were like, hair and nails? They don't even care about the nails, really, you know? And if they do it, they do it themselves. Sometimes, I, you know, I pitch in and I was like, all right, what about hair? They were like, bro, she's white. She just brushed it. We're flat arms. She wants to be special. Oh, Jesus Christ. You guys are saving a lot of money. <laughs> One of my men said this. He just got drafted. He said, bro, I was dating a black girl. Now I'm dating a white girl. And I'm about to marry her. He said, the difference between the black girl and the white girl, the biggest difference is the white girl knows when to shut the fuck up. I said, God damn. Listen, this is what they told me. Do with the information as you please. If it takes me 10 to 15 years to find a black woman that's compatible with me, that's what I'm going to do. But this is what they told me. So stop being surprised. Why are all these black college athletes that are getting drafted having white women if we're being real with each other i just feel like black athletes are being targeted by white women stick with me when white women go to college they are told to get married get rich and be successful and what they have to do typically they have to get with somebody who's gonna be rich or successful and that happens to sometimes be black athletes black athletes are tough on a younger age that they have to hustle hard get their life together do what they gotta do to be successful, and then someone will come along to love them at the end. And I saw another creator saying this, that typically white women will do everything in their power to know that black athlete schedule, uh, what they need, whatever the case may be, they will stick beside them no matter what. And it sucks to say this, but a lot of black athletes will literally not date women of color because they assume that the white woman that they're dating is the perfect woman for them and is the best woman they will ever date. And even as they continue their career, right, or as they continue to get successful, I feel like a lot of black male who are successful just don't look at women of color, which is crazy to me because it's like, 
how can you be birthed by a woman of color and not date someone that looks like you? But yeah, that's just my thoughts on this. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments. I just watched a video about how D1 athletes only date white girls, and it's very true. I went to a PWI in Birmingham, Alabama, very small, go Bulldog. And in this video, the girl talked about how the other athletes would essentially harass the players who dated black girls. Well, it probably also comes from coaches as well. And I was a little cheerleader, okay? But I wanna, I wanna make a distinction. Just because you're D1, um, there are levels to that shit. So whenever we would play a big SEC school, you better believe we got our booty stomped, just destroyed, demolished, okay? But either way, it was very clicky. Like, you were either in a sorority, then you were only in the sorority, but if you were on an athletic team, you were like, that's all you did. You ate, slept, and drank that team. So me as a cheerleader, you know, I only hung out with cheerleaders for the longest time. Sometimes the dance team. And I also had a lot of friends on the volleyball team. So whenever we'd go out, we'd always go pregame with the volleyball players and I might have classes with them. I love them. Like, hey, Corinne, if you see this, love you. And I would occasionally make a friend outside of that, but it was very clicky and I was just only with the cheerleaders, essentially. Anyways, we're at the PWI, right? There's not a lot of black people, but there was a basketball coach who shall rename nameless. Anyways, whenever I would see this basketball coach, I think the first or second day, we, we walked past each other once. Then we saw each other again later, and he's like, young lady, there's not a lot of us who look like this out here. We gotta acknowledge each other. So I was like, okay, yeah, sure. Like, I can get behind that. Like, six months pass, and I always see him, and we're getting friendly. I'm like, hey, coach, how you doing? Good, how you doing, this and that. He might see me out and around town when I'm like, on a date with white boys. And um, he didn't say anything. He'd always just acknowledge me like, oh, you know, you better take care of this young lady, this and that. I'm like, okay, great. So then fast forward to 2020 and coach comes up to me. He's like, Sage, what are you doing after college, after you graduate? Like, oh, probably move back to North Carolina, this, that, and the third. And he goes, well, you should, you should hit me up sometime. I'm like, what, what do you mean? He's like, you know what I mean. And I was like, I literally saw you out at a restaurant with your wife. So I don't know what you mean. I don't. And if they're not dating those black women, they're definitely still trying to sleep with them. And that is because we are viewed as pieces of meat and nothing more. So you might think the athletes are bad, but the coaches are probably worse. Bone broth. Negro, please. Didn't somebody tell you this was an all white party? So I have a story time about this. When I was in high school, I had a teacher that was a basketball coach and a football coach. And his daughter was dating the, a football player and that was going to go D1. We all knew he was going D1. And the way he would talk about him was so slave mastery. He would be like some, oh, yeah, their kids are going to be big. Their, their kids are going to be great athletes. No, 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 like just goofy stuff. And one day I became friends with one of the basketball players. And he told me, he said, yeah, when we date black girls, they encourage us not to. They say they're bad for our image and we should date white girls. And when we are dating black girls at the time, they basically like harass us on the team. Ah! Makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Because these white girls come out of nowhere. I'll be like, I ain't even, I ain't even know the draft picks. I didn't even know the draft picks yet. And they already walking down the aisle with these white women. Hilarious. Really scary, actually. Actually, terrifying. Only proving that black women are superior, because why is it even that serious? Look, the sun is loving me today. Anyways, crazy, right? Why do black athletes marry white and Latino girls? Y'all tap in the comments for this one. Real video, real talk. Why do y'all... I, I, I want to know the answer. Like, why do um people say, oh, you can't help who you fall in love with? I get that. But you can definitely help who you give a chance to fall in love with you. So you, you might can't help who you fall in love with, but it's still people have certain choices they choose to who they want to fall in love with. Because, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, and I'm, it's a lot of, I'm, I'm biased in this one. But I know one thing, though. We have a lot of, it's a lot of successful black sisters. Why aren't the athletes, okay, because I understand you're an athlete, you're making millions. You want somebody that can match, that can match your vibe. And it's a, it's a lot of black sisters that can match these athletes' vibes. Yet, they still, they still end up being with white and Latino girls. Is it, are the, are the white and Latino girls more submissive than the black girls? Is it the attitude? Like, 
please somebody tune in and give me a nice answer. I put it like this. Somebody give me an answer that makes sense, I'll cash up you $50. If somebody give me an answer in the comments that I could be like, okay, that makes sense. But honestly, I don't believe nobody has a direct good answer for this. I'm going to say it again. Why are the, a lot of these black, I'm not going to say the majority, why are a lot of these black athletes, in the, why do they end up marrying white or Latino girls? Appreciate y'all tuning in. Salute. I know for a fact I'm probably going to face some backlash for saying this, but y'all want to know the real reason why NFL, y'all only see NFL players with white girls? Why? Wow. It's because they're corny. Like, that, that's, that's the team. They're, they're, they're lame, not gonna hurt you. They're lame for money. See, I wasn't gonna touch this topic at all, but every year it's the same topic. Why do so many athletes date white women? First thing first, the women that do speak on these topics, they're haters, right? Because this woman literally said, this is coming from somebody that has talked to NFL players, dated NFL players, did the whole nine. I've dated, I've been in relationships with athletes, right? But you can tell she's a hater because she hasn't been kept by one. Every time you hear a woman speak on these topics, their experience is always short. Oh, I've talked and dated to athletes and rich men, but your experience is short. And it just shows how jealous you are because these other women are being kept, black and white, Hispanic, everything. But every year, this white girl with the black athlete thing is trending because that's what's being pushed. So around Super Bowl time, it was a group of black women that were saying, I'm an NFL girlfriend. Of course we're going to the Super Bowl. Roll the clip. We're NFL girlfriends. Of course we're going to the Super Bowl. Ah! I'm an NFL girlfriend. Of course I'm going to the Super Bowl. Ah! Now that that's out the way, let's talk about this. Those men aren't corny. Just because they're not dating a black woman or a woman of their race, that doesn't make them corny. You're just mad because it's not you. You're not being kept. Maybe they see right through you. You wanna know what's corny? Bashing men because they didn't want to keep you around. Bashing other women because they got chosen, you did not. Maybe you're corny. Maybe those men seen through you. Maybe they seen that you were a sack chaser. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my black women, bro, but when y'all act out of line like this, bro, because you're not being kept, maybe you got to step your game up. Maybe you have to change something about you. It's a reason why you can't keep an NFL guy or a rich guy. It's a reason why. The real reason why NFL y'all only see NFL players with white girls is because they're corny. Close. There's some truth to what she's saying. I said this before, but girls like what the boys are. Whatever the boys in their environment have chosen is their definition of what it means to be a man. That is what the girls in that environment will like. The reason why hood girls like hood boys is because the boys in their environment have determined that hood is what it means to be a man. Now keep up, this is where she is correct. White girls like corny black guys because those corny black guys exhibit the same behaviors, mannerisms, and characteristics that the men in their environment exhibit. These are the same behaviors, mannerisms, and characteristics that their environment deems as masculine. They like the corny black guys because that is familiar. That is the image that they are accustomed to when they are looking for a man. The behaviors that they exhibit resonate with manly behaviors because this is how the men in their environment choose to conduct themselves. This is how the men in their environment choose to exhibit their masculinity and girls like what the boys are. 20 years ago, if you would have told a bunch of girls from the hood that they would like dudes wearing skinny jeans, purses, and big mattress shoes, they would have laughed at you. But once the boys started wearing purses, skinny jeans, and big mattress shoes, the girls began to like them because the girls like what the boys are, which is why I stand by my original point. If more black men were engineers, then more girls would like engineers. If black men as a collective chose to exhibit masculinity in a different way, other than the street dude, the hood dude, then girls would like that image. If more black men as a collective decided to be the Russell Wilson, then girls as a collective would like the Russell Wilson. The only reason why girls like Future is because black men as a collective have decided that Future is what it means to be a black man. So that image is what they copy paste onto themselves. If you're in the same environment, 
you're going to like what you see. So you don't think he corny because you think he corny. You only think he corny because many in your environment are directly responsible for what you believe are the behaviors, mannerisms, and characteristics of a man. So she doesn't like him because she thinks he's corny. She likes him because she thinks he's a man. Now I should make y'all pay for that one. This conversation behind the black athletes and the white girls is so fucking annoying. First of all, my platform nor my presence will ever be a safe place to talk shit about black women. Let's start there. But everybody trying to drop these think pieces like, well, the difference between black women is this and white women are like this and what. Whenever you hear that, that's how you know somebody haven't dealt with enough women. You haven't dealt with enough women for you to try to dice all these characteristics up. Believe it or not, when it come down to the root of it, there are very small differences between all of them. Oh, well, black women require this and white women require less. They require the same thing. She just ain't say it out loud. And eight times out of 10, she's okay with letting you cheat on her because you're bringing home millions. Well, the black woman requires more and the white woman requires bare minimum. Bro, they're all dating football players. These are white women going after football players and you saying that they require less. It's not like they're going after Jamal that work at Wendy's. They're going after Jalen. That place for the Lions. What are you talking about? You think they require less? Let's see how much they require after you get kicked off that team. I don't care if she black, white, green, tall, short, gematarius, Capri Sun, or a fucking coconut. Soon as you lose your job, they out the door. The, the clock starts. No matter what color she is, just remember, she will lose you and get rid of you before she loses her lifestyle that you gave her. You're trying to do all these calculations. Well, I want a black woman because of this, and I want a white woman because of this. When at the end of the day, you can take her out of her situation and make sure she ain't got to go 50-50. But when y'all get a divorce, she taking 50. So just fucking date who you love. Just date who you love, bro. For all these dudes on here taking up for the white women and down talking to black women, they just going to have to learn the hard way. These white women, they saw the vision. Yep. They like, look, I, I see where this is going. I've studied this. Kevin Samuels already exposed how yep. they have courses and shit. Yeah. They're reading books and shit on how to get these type of men. They actually work to get these men. They know this is a competition. Yep. I'm going to outcompete the competition and get chose. And this is why they're getting chose. When you talk to black women, they are repulsed at the word competition. Yeah. I tell black women the all table. the fucking time, you got to compete for the man you want. Compete? Ah, he can have that bitch. Well, guess what? That draft so, day, he's exactly, having the bitch. Yeah. These white women, they saw the vision. Yep. They like, look, I, I see where this is going. This conversation makes me want to cry a little bit. Ever since the NFL draft with what looks like predominantly black men with white girlfriends, there's been all this talk of black people, specifically, about what does it mean? What does it mean? And why is it that all these black guys are with white girls? And it just it's just starting to feel, to me, very racist. I just have yet to see a black man or a black woman say that it's really because love is love. It's all these theories about what's wrong with the black man, what's wrong with the black woman, what's right about the white woman, what's wrong about the white woman, and it's just, please, 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 can we let it go? But yes, as a black woman that won't compete for a man, they can have. Why are all these black college athletes that are getting drafted having white women? What? Go and watch buddy video. But let me, I can tell you why too, man. Let me tell you the difference between dating black girls and white. And let me preface, most of the women I interact with are black. I love black women. I'm just giving anecdotals and my own two cents. Black women want to be handled. White women want to be held. Think about what I just said. Black women want to be handled. White women want to be held. How many times have you heard a black girl say, oh, he just can't handle me. He just can't handle all this. How many times have you heard a white girl say, oh, he just can't handle all this. He just can't handle me. When you mess with a white girl, their mindset is like, what can I do for him? When you mess with a black girl, nine times out of ten, what can he do for me? I'm honestly tired of black men pretending pretending that they love like or want to be with black women what y'all black men really be doing the archetype of y'all kind of black men y'all come on social media say something positive about black women but the entire video prove why you don't like or love black women 
let's also be clear, just because you have any kind of interaction with a black woman, from family to friend to lover to sexual partner, that does not mean you like black women, not one bit. Because to say something positive and then head straight to a full head on negative perspective is crazy. To even try to cover yourself so that way black women won't pick you apart. Because you know you don't like black women. The beginning of your video, you said black women want to be handled. And apparently, all black women say, the only thing black women say is, he can't handle me. I need a man that can handle me. It really just painted a Medea perspective when you said that. It made me feel like you was portraying Medea. That's the vibe I got. Because last time I checked, every single woman walking have said that. Every single woman walking, no matter what race they are, have said, he can't handle me. I need a man that can handle me. All of a sudden, only black women say it. Like we have not heard so many celebrities that's not black say it. Woman, I, I, I'm so confused. And then, this is how I know that y'all don't y'all don't like black women, right? Y'all are trying to paint them as the aggressors. Just listen to what you said, because I'm reading between the lines. Black women want to be handled. Madonna's, you know, want to be held. <laughs> so all of a sudden, right? Because, no, that's just because y'all love white women. And that's okay. I actually don't have nothing against black men that's, that's, that's into white women. And if y'all want to interracially date, that's fine. But it doesn't seem like black men can get a grip on the concept that you can still love and respect black women and date outside your race. I'm so... I think y'all are lost. I think black men who interracially date hate themselves. And I think you are so far gone from the roots of your ancestors. You are tremendously gone that your ancestors can't bring you back. Because for you to say something negative in the beginning of the video, after saying something positive, tells me you don't like black women. And what's even funnier is that you're saying, yeah, because they want to do for you, because they want to do for you. Black women, it's what you can do for them. Did you ever stop to think for one particular second that maybe the particular reason is that you particularly don't treat black women good? If you treated a black woman good, she will do for you. That's how it works. Reciprocate energy. If you're treating her bad, why would she do for you? As a matter of fact, I would I, I would applaud her to say, yeah, you know, what can you do for me? Honestly, the way black women have been disrespected at a major severity as of as of lately, as of, as of not even as of lately, since this app has been created. We have seen a mass amount of black women being disrespected. So now when they have the mindset of, well, well, what can he do for me? It's not coming from the place of, oh yeah, I'm a gold digger. I'm going I'm to use them. I'm going to abuse them. No, it's coming from a, a place of, I want to feel safe. I'm going to feel protected. I'm going to feel supported. And I will give that to him if he can give that to me. Because as a black woman, I need that. On Twitter pointing about athletes, though, I'm going to tell you right now, most of y'all athletes, y'all not good. And the, the, the problem is, y'all trying to make this argument, men, oh, well, if, if he not good, how he get drafted? You could have just made it. That's the thing. It's sports. You, th there, is a, there is a thing as just making it, or you're just good enough. Y'all not legendary. That's the thing. You can get drafted. You can make money, but you're not legendary. 
you're not good. And there's a lot of black men that play sports because they're the monkey of the circus. But that's another topic. And I think what's even funnier is that the main reason why y'all don't want to date black women is because a black woman will tell you when you're not good or you need to work harder. The difference between a black woman, the real difference between a black woman, right, and a woman of any other race, respectfully, is that a black woman don't just want you to succeed. If you're going to be an athlete, if you're going to be a chef, if you're going to be an airplane pilot, no, she just don't want you to succeed. She wants you to do the job, be the best at it, and be the best to ever do it in your entire life. She wants you to make history. Any other woman that's, you know, not black, not all, not all, not all women that's not black is that way, but more than likely, if she ain't black, she just know you got money. She will still love you, but you got money. And I think that that leads into another conversation that when you go broke, who's more likely to stay with you? No, 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 no. I mean, when you really 10 million contract, you a wide receiver in, in, in the NFL, you've been three, four years, you took your ACL, you have nothing now. Who really gonna stay? Who really gonna stay? Because how long black women been holding black men down for no apparent reason, strictly out of the fact that they just love you and because you're a black man? But back to what I was previously just saying, the fact that Black women see y'all, the potential in y'all, and want y'all to be more than what you can be. Because all you really think is, oh, I can, you know, I'm going to make it to the league. I'm going to make it to the league. And a black woman can tell you you're not good enough or you need to work harder because she's pushing you because she wants you to be another LeBron, another Jordan. You're not getting that anywhere else. You know, I, I really feel like this, this video isn't to undermine any woman of any race. I'm just saying within the this is this is a video about within the black community, right? That's what this video is about. If you ain't a part of that community, then this video really isn't directed to you. However, at the same time, y'all don't love black women. 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 And I'm tired of y'all being in denial about it. And since y'all don't love black women, maybe y'all should leave them alone. That also goes for the black women in your family also. So this is all I got from this video. And shout out to this brand who really made a whole lot of sense. The truth is that majority of them do actually not love black women and for that reason they can go any length to like you know say some nasty things what does it mean like to be handled if you cannot like you know there is i see a lot of people using that is the only black people so he is trying to tell me that a black woman is going to say i cannot be handled and that i cannot be held Man, it's all for you guys. Sometimes you all, I mean, like, say some certain things, and I look at you, and I am like, are you being for real? You okay, know, let me tell, let's start with this. I actually watched their drafting. I saw so many people because I saw also, uh, like, you know, some Nigerians who were also, like, you know, American Nigerians who were also drafted, right? Majority, you know, how they were all going to be in the room, waiting for the call to come and all that. Most of them get to sit with their fiancé or girlfriend and family and all that. Majority of them all had palm colored people by their side. I do not have any problem with that. It's okay. Wherever you find, I am always preaching about healthy love. But if you ask me, I love it when we all come together to make things happen for us, right? I saw a lot of them, so many of them. Now, a lot of people are talking about all these, like, you know, some of them having so many. And I am asking this, not just only, why is it that I see so many athletes, like, you know, 
what they do is just they go for does he mean that i mean people that look like me or like uh, we do not look good on them or we are not what they want because i have seen so many of them like you know eventually if something happens and probably they are divorcing they end up going through so many i mean crazy thing but then i want to ask is it like a part on like you know that uh, if you do not have a pump color person like you know as somebody by your side it means does it mean like you are not fit enough to probably be an athlete or you are not good enough because i really don't understand how like all of them are just dirty pump colored people like i said do not get me wrong it's okay wherever you find love but what i where i also have problem is where some black I mean, people my own people come out to talk down on black women now let me tell you something i have seen so many male men that probably will come and i can not okay so let me ask this before why is it that everything is being blamed on black women or everything is being blamed on women like when relationship does not go well it is women probably because she's asking for so much or a woman uh, the man got uh, got drafted and she's asking for nails wait does it mean like if the woman has been the one providing or doing so many things for the man is it not common sense that the man when he started saying something that she is how much is actually this now? how much how much is it how much how many dollars to so get your nails done it's not a lot of money it's something somebody can easily afford for somebody he wants to be with or somebody he loves you know for me it is not a big deal I help my home my home girls like when they are broke they can actually call me to tell me hey girl I need to get my nails done please can you you send money to them because they are your friends not even but then why is it that someone that you love that you like you know you or you have intimacy with like when she asks for something then you stop calling her materialistic or you most of most of them go 50 50 right with people that look like me but when it comes to the other they are full-time providers see you all in my next video bye for now